Today we're going to teach you guys how to double your phone's battery life. It's going to be awesome guys, be ready. We are currently giving away an iPhone 7 Plus and 30 fidget spinners and 30 iTunes and Google Play cards. Now if you want to be entered into this giveaway, make sure you subscribe right now. Leave a like on this video and comment down below what you want to win. If you are not subscribed guys, you cannot be entered. So press that subscribe button right now and smash a like on this video. Guys, make sure you subscribe if you're new. We're trying to hit like 1.5 million subscribers and if you guys smash the subscribe right now to our channel you will actually have a huge chance of winning an iPhone 7 or even some fidget spinners guys so subscribe right now it would mean the world to us and thank you all for all the support recently also smash a like on this video guys if this video hits a hundred thousand likes we're gonna be doubling our giveaway so make sure you smash that like button so if you guys want to taste a delicacy something that tastes delicious yep. I'm gonna teach you guys an I awesome thing so put bacon on the fry pan okay. cook up that bacon then get pancake mix and put it over the bacon and BAM! What? You have bacon pancakes. Wow. I know it sounds weird, but it turns pancakes into something less sweet wow. and more savory and it actually tastes surprisingly nice. If you haven't tried this, show off to your friends and make it for them or your parents. Trust me, it tastes nice. Promise you're gonna make it for me tomorrow for breakfast. Done! Deal. Promise? Deal. Deal. Awesome. That was, that was legit. Just then. You think I was trolling? Guys, if you want your strawberries to taste absolutely delicious and keep them fresh for way longer than the normal amount of time, yeah. all you gotta do is wash them in one cup of vinegar and then actually wash them with three cups of water right before you put them in the fridge or the freezer or wherever you want to put them, but I suggest fridge. Um, so before you put them in, you'll do that and then your ber your strawberries will be kept fresh for ages. Same with blueberries, same with all the types of berries. It's an awesome life yeah. hack. Didn't even know that. If you want to easily cut something in half, no matter what it is, if it's an apple or a, a sandwich or I don't know, whatever you want to cut in half, cheese even, okay. you put it in between two plates and then you get the perfect knife cut between those two plates as you can see in this image. It's really awesome, really easy and it can help people cut things in half if you want to cut anything nice in half. Straight you know? like, I don't need to cut nothing in half. So if you want an easy way to stack your bottles or water bottles or anything like that in the fridge or freezer, an easy way to do that is actually just use your office clips from home or from work or from school or anything like that. As you can see in this photo right now, it actually stacks the bottles up really neatly and makes it so that they don't just fall around the place and take up a lot of room in in your fridge and it's awesome you can have it in your bar fridge or anything like that it's really really cool guys if you are sick of having the unpopped popcorn in your popcorn when you pop it yeah I just said a lot yep. of popcorn that if you hate popcorn. having little kernel things stuck at the bottom of your popcorn pack all you need to do is rip a little hole right after it's finished popping turn it upside down shake it in the bin all the little kernels will come out and then you'll have the best popcorn with no kernels no easily kernels edible. and you won't like be crunching down yeah, the so that is so the annoying. worst yeah feeling. easy life hack Okay guys, this one is for your mum or dad. If you want to clean, like, you know, dirty shower tap or something like that, you can actually cut an orange in half, rub it along the shower, obviously rinse it after, but rub it along and it'll actually get rid of the grime or mold. It's actually a really nice clean method because of the acidity in the orange, makes it easy to clean, great to clean, and there's no mess at all, and there's no chemicals involved either. So it's really good, guys. Tell your parents that one, I think they'll like it. Or even if you guys spill something or, you know, need something clean to show off to your parents, you use that too, it'll be really awesome. If your iPhone speaker is not loud enough, we have an awesome life hack that literally makes your speaker so loud, so, so loud. loud. All you need is one of those paper towel rolls after it's done and used and empty. As you can see you, in this photo. Exactly, as it's got right there, you need two cups on the edges and it'll make your phone speaker so loud, which is absolutely awesome. I know I'm gonna use this one because when we, when we are in our room, we wanna play music loud, that's what we're gonna use because it's awesome and you can just show off to your friends because it looks you really cool. You can make it look different as well, yeah. make it look really Painting. Nice and cool, colors. and just like it's an achievement, even if you don't use it, it's cool. Yeah. Have you ever gone to the beach and your wallet or your phone or your keys or whatever you have in your pockets gets lost yep. or dirty or wet and or stolen? You just even. hate it. What you can do is you can actually get an old sunscreen container or something, just like an old container of some form. Put it into that, as you can see in this image, and it will keep it waterproof and it won't be able to get damaged at all. That's pretty you good. won't lose it, you'll know where it is at all times, and bam, that is a life hack that you can do at the beach that will help you a lot. I want you guys to try and spot the face in the bean coffee beans right now. Tommy, I want you to do okay. it. Search through it and see if you can spot the face uh, starting now. Come on guys, you well. can do this. This one is actually pretty hard. He's hidden, he's a bit hidden. His head's a bit darker, so it looks like it blends in with the coffee beans. Who's gonna find it first? Come on guys, can you beat yeah. Tommy? <coughs> find the head. I'll give you a hint. I can't see it. 
What? I didn't give what him a hint. Say? I didn't give him a hint. Um, Come on, Tommy. Right there. Where? Is that a hint? That's the head. Yeah. Yes. Bottom left. That was the hint I gave you if you guys heard me, but nice you found it. This one is gigantic artwork that has actually been made to be 3D. Well, not 3D, but it's been made to look like a cartoon cape. Really? As cool. you guys can see, it looks like a cartoon cape, but really it's just huge uh, black poles made to look 3D and like a cartoon cape, which is really awesome. I really like this one. If you guys are looking at this floor, it would look like the floor's actually slanted down a bit like a- Like just an instant drop. Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, yeah, it look kind of like an instant drop off. <laughs> but guess what? It's not. It's just, once again, the zigzags in the ground are just angled weirdly to make it look like it's just straight down, but it actually isn't. It's just an illusion and I'm sure it tricked you. Tricked me, did it trick tricked you? Tricked me a lot. Tricked us all. We all got tricked. We all We're all a family here. We all got tricked. But yeah, that's cool. Which hot dog is the real hot dog and which hot dog is the fake hot dog? As you can see, he's got a knife right now and he's about to cut through them. Look at that! I bet you guys bet, I guess, that the left side was the fake one and the right side was a real one. That's Wait, actually what actually I thought. Wrong. That's, the, that's the real one. Wait, really? And that's the fake one. <laughs> really, really cool. I love this one, guys. I was just so mind-blowing mind blowing. when I saw that. Now, have you guys ever had something where you want to get a bucket into a sink and you want to fill it, but the bucket's actually too big, it doesn't fit to in the sink? fill up your water soaker or exactly. something. Exactly. It's just like you can't do and it. And it's so hard. Yeah, exactly. Same sort of thing like that. An easy way to fill up your bottle, your whatever that doesn't fit in the sink is actually grab a dustpan, that you're, an old dustpan, anything that you're not like using or you using. Image. Exactly. Then put it under the sink, the water will go straight through and it'll go straight into your bucket, into your water soaker, into your whatever you need it for. The water will go straight into it and it'll fill it perfectly and you can fill it as much as you want. And that way it's an easy life hack so that you know, you don't, you're not trying to shove it into the sink with brute force. Okay, now a lot of people smash glass and guys, I'm one of those culprits. I'm like a klutz. I drop glasses, I drop I drop, you know, plates and stuff, and I'm sure you guys probably have before in your life as well. And you're wondering, how do you pick up the shards of glass from the ground? How do you this know? is probably the safest way to do it. You get a piece of bread and you, you pick it up like that. It actually picks up the glass. It makes it really easy to pick up. And But make sure you, you're careful with it because you don't want to push too hard on the glass to go through the bread and cut yourself. But what you want to do is just lightly push it down and it'll pick up the little shards of glass for your bread. So, uh, to, for so your bread. Your bread's exactly. hungry for some glass. <laughs> so that you don't cut anyone on the ground and it's please it up fast. Now for the moment you guys have all been waiting for. It's been a while, but here it is guys. The way to double your iPhone battery. You can get up to 200% of iPhone battery from your phone. So usually your phone is actually dies really fast. And the reason for this is you're not actually charging it correctly. When Apple produced the iPhones, what you would have to do is, and they didn't actually tell people this, they'd have to work it out. What you would have to do, and we're going to let you know this secret right now, what you have to do is once a month, you need to let your phone completely die to zero. Then what you have to do is let it fully charge. You can't pull it off the charger. Let it fully charge to 100%. That actually completely recycles your battery and gives you up to 200% of your battery life because you probably would have been experiencing about 50% of the original battery life, which is really bad. And that's what I was experiencing as well before I actually did this. And then I did this and it made my battery life so much better. You won't understand until you actually do it, guys. And it works best with the iPhone 5, 6, and fours, but if you have an iPhone 7 as well, it, it will probably work for that as well. So this actually does work, guys. It's really good and really helpful. Hope it helps you guys. If it did, comment that down below. Smash a like on this video. Guys, another awesome way to speed up your phone, to make it charge really fast, and to just make the battery life last really long is just turn your phone on airplane mode when you're charging it or using it and you do not want it to die fast. It'll actually last so long and it'll actually charge really fast. So just turn it on airplane mode and what happens? You fly? It actually, well, yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. It's going on an airplane. <laughs> it's awesome. It just really it helps your, your phone, phone really fast. It's awesome. If you want to use your iPhone in the shower, you want to play music or you want to actually use it, what you got to do is actually put it in a sealable bag or a plastic bag. That way it stays waterproof. The water cannot get in and your iPhone stays safe and you can use it in the shower and listen to music, do whatever you want. Now, a lot of you guys have actually been squeezing lemons the wrong way and we actually know a secret way you can squeeze your lemons without getting any mess on your hands really well and easy. So the trick to doing this is just grab a pair of tongs, put the lemon in between the tongs, and then what do you do? You just push squeeze. down. You just give it a big squeeze and the lemon will come out and then you won't get any annoying juice on your hands which gets all sticky and it makes the juice come out so easily. Or you can just get a little squeezing thing where you just go like that, like... And then the juice comes out and yeah, fills up in a container. That's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, smash a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new. And we're gonna see you guys in the next one. See, see you later, guys. See you later, guys. Bye.